chasing the police every single day. Hey, Charlotte County. This is Charlotte County Cop Watch. And uh, I got to do a comment before I do a screen read on this insanity. Uh, Charlotte County Sheriff was investigating me for the longest time for something that uh, Ian McGuire did. Ian McGuire tried to kill me by cop. Um, there he goes. Uh, three times in one night. And, uh, and they actually... Ian McGuire's been in jail for freaking seven, eight months. I mean, he's done. He's gone. He's wasted. Uh, this one is, that's the EMS truck. Um, and this is weird. I have the original document. It said my name. It said Ian McGuire's name. They still have altered it, but at least it's finally closed. We have the documentation that it's closed and it's finally unredacted. And here's the insanity that happened all in one night on 6-18-2019. I'll attach to the screen read. The videos, it was insane. In one night, he tried to kill me by cop three times. And it wasn't just that. It wasn't just trying to kill me by cop three times in one night. Uh, he sent a tow truck to tow my car. Uh, he sent cabs. He sent pizza. I mean, he must have been on meth that night. I mean, because it was just out of control. Um, so it, it is all here in the report. Uh, this is also the night that uh, they call the FCC uh, because when you do this shit, you use uh, the phone. Uh, even though he didn't use 911, that's an interesting thing. He he knew enough not to use 911, but he's still so stupid. When you tie up fucking government shit like this, you're fucked. You're fried, man. It's been, when it's an illegal call like this, holy shit. He said I'd burn the house down. He said I'd tied the wife up. He said a squirrel uh, got out and was biting on my balls. That's why they sent the uh, EMS truck. I mean, it was off the chart. And here's another point that somebody brought up the other day. Uh, please help me with this. I need to find a lawyer to sue the Charlotte County Sheriff, Bill Promel, this motherfucking Nazi. That's why he's got this sign. They never asked me to charge him with felony trying to kill me by cop. It's a felony. Period. Never asked me if I wanted to charge him. Of course I want to charge him. It was the most insane time of our lives for those couple of weeks while he was doing this shit. As you can see by this report, this was all in one night. So like somebody st told me, am I a second class citizen? Because uh, they're not... They're not uh, um, help trying to protect me. They never asked me if they want if uh, if I wanted to have them charged. Never. All this shit. That is illegal. That is violating my rights. That is discrimination. On and on and on. So I'll go. I'll do a screen read on this. We can play the video while it's going. Um, this is going to be a long video because I'll, I'll add the videos that happened that night. It was insane. And, um, wow. Please help me to find a lawyer to sue the Charlotte County Sheriff for violating my rights, uh, discrimination, and, uh, that not, not letting me charge E. McGuire for these felony acts. Are you serious? Never spoke to me about it? Serious? Remember what our founding father said, take a goddamn country back. Uh, you're a frog in a pot. The water's gone. You're in the bottom uh, frying. Get the hell out and fight. Charlotte County Sheriff's Office Offense 1906-009182. Report date, June 18, 2019, 2209 and 19 seconds. On June 18, 2019 at approximately 22:11 hours, I responded to 11408 Pepperdine Street, Punta Gorda, Charlotte County, Florida in reference to a disturbance. It was reported that the complainant, Andrew Sheets, was being bitten by a squirrel that Jacob Hawkins let out of a cage. Central Communications advised the caller's voice did not appear to be Mr. Sheets' voice though. After this first initial call, Five additional calls came in for the same address. Upon arrival, 
I observed a large sign in the driveway that said you have been pranked by Ian McGuire sue him to get your money back 8635171966. On the front door I observed another sign taped to the door that said you have been pranked by Ian McGuire. 8635171966 I knocked on the door, but did not receive an answer. While on scene, Central Communications received a call from Mr. Sheets advising he does not want contact, and he wants his address flagged as a spoof address. Mr. Sheets also advised dispatch that he want us to get the fuck off the property. Mr. Sheets advised dispatch that Ian McGuire is responsible for the prank calls. While on scene, EMS arrived to a suspected squirrel bite, but then cleared when they learned it was a prank call. Steve's towing also arrived on scene, and advised they were supposed to tow one of Mr. Sheets' vehicles to 21528 Holdern Avenue, Port Charlotte, Florida which is an old address for Ian McGuire. Steve's towing advised they had a call back number of 941-916-2259, which is Mr. Sheets' phone number. Steve's towing also cleared the scene when they learned they received a prank call. I contacted Central Communications, and they advised the call came in on an administrative line, and the number calling appeared to be Mr. Sheets' phone number. A tape request was submitted for the original call, and it was added to the case. Pictures of the signs at Mr. Sheets' address were also added to the case. On June 19, 2019 at approximately 24.10 hours, I responded back to Mr. Sheets' address in reference to a detective at his residence pounding on the door and window, and he was possibly armed. I checked the area, and nothing was located. Central Communications attempted to call Mr. Sheets back but he did not answer. They left a voicemail for him, advising to call 911 if he has an emergency. No further action was taken. On June 19, 2019 at approximately 1.15 hours, there was a report of a residential fire at the aforementioned address. The caller stated Jacob Hawkins broke into his house, and set it on fire. He also stated he is tied to a chair in a closet, and Mr. Hawkins is trying to put a squirrel on him. Mr. Sheets would not come to the door, and would not answer his phone when dispatch tried making phone contact with him. There were no signs of a fire inside the residence, and it did not sound like anyone was in distress. It appeared to be another prank phone call. On June 19, 2019 at approximately 2.09 hours, there was another report of a residential fire at the aforementioned address. The caller stated someone set his house on fire, and he has a stick in his rectum. The caller stated Jacob Hawkins and Lee Cole set the house on fire. The caller was claiming to be Mr. Sheets once again, but he had a high-pitched voice according to Central Communications. The caller stated the fire was by a vehicle, and coming into the house. There was a cab driver in front of the house at this time, and advised there was no fire. The caller said subjects were running through his house, and he was tied up in a bedroom. Fire arrived on scene, and advised there was no fire at the residence. On June 19, 2019 at approximately 2.10 hours, a call came in from Yellow Cab of Sarasota advising Mr. Sheets requested a ride to the Sarasota airport. When he arrived, he saw the sign stating he was pranked by Ian McGuire. The cab driver was wanting to know if he could get reimbursed his gas expense. Sergeant Pale handled this call. On June 19, 2019 at approximately 2.17 hours, a kidnapping call came in reference to the aforementioned address. The caller was claiming to be Mr. Sheets' wife, and stated she is in the crawl space at this address. She advised Mr. Sheets has a gas can and a gun, and is going to shoot a man he is holding hostage. The caller also state Mr. Sheets is electrocuting the man, and is threatening to rape her. The caller made a statement that she did not want to get raped. The caller disconnected when dispatch asked who lived in the house. Central Communications advised that the caller sounded like a male, who was trying to sound like a female. There was a total of six times either fire, law enforcement, or both were dispatched to this residence, and all six times they appeared to be prank calls. 
it appears someone is disguising their phone number to match Mr. Sheets' number, and pretending to be Mr. Sheets when they call dispatch. The FCC has been notified of the situation, since numerous law enforcement, fire and EMS units were tied up responding to these prank calls throughout the night. January 28, 2020, 11.09 and 54 seconds a.m. Page 2 of 2. Charlotte County Sheriff's Office, Operator 34 on a recorded line. How may I help you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Mr. Andrew Sheets. Uh, ma'am, uh, I'm in my backyard, and I'm, I'm very suspicious of the squirrels back there. Uh, there's a guy, Jeff, uh, hot shit, or, uh, Jeff, uh, something, and, uh, he was chasing the squirrel, and the squirrel went up my pants and bit my pecker and balls, and, uh, some guy broke my window, and I'd like the police officer out, please. Okay, what is your address? Uh, 11408 Pepperdine Street. At Ponte Gorda, Florida, three three nine five five. Okay, that was. And ma'am, I'm laying on the ground right now, and this squirrel's chewing on my testicles, and this guy, oh, stop hitting me with the stick. One one four zero eight Pepperdine Street, Florida. Yeah, yes, ma'am. This man's hitting me with the stick. I don't know what to do. Mister, they call. I'm sending help to you. What's what's the phone number that you're calling from? Uh, 941-916-2259. Okay, tell me exactly what happens. Uh, I was in the backyard. I was just trying to catch the squirrel like I do. And uh, this man came, Jacob Hawkins, and he, he freed the squirrel from the cage. And the squirrel ran out and went at my pants and it's biting on my balls, and now this is this uh, Hawkins guy has hit me. Don't he hit me so big? Okay, where, oh, where, where is Mr. Hawkins right man, now? He's hit me with a stick. He's hit me with a stick. Okay, sir. Have do. Okay, what does he look like? Uh, he's wearing a hoodie, and he's got a green uniform on with a badge on it. It says detective on there. Okay, and, so it's Detective uh, Jacob Hawkins? Uh, Yes, he's here hitting me, ma'am. Help, come help me, please. Ah. Is there anybody else with you, too? No, I'm in my backyard. I'm running from him now. He's chasing me. He's chasing you? Where are you running to? I'm running down the street. Oh, please send me. Okay, please. so what street are you on right now? I'm on Pepper Dine Lane. Okay. Well, can you find a safe place to go so I can have the ambulance meet you as well? I'm trying to run one, man. I'm trying to run. I'm trying to make a safe Okay, are you able to find safety within your house? Stop it. Sir? Sir, are you able to find a safe place within your house? Sir, are you able to find a safe place within your residence? Sir? Mr. Sheets. Cop Watch. Policing the police every single day.
from Frank. There, I'm not I'm not kidding you. The, the law enforcement is here, the EMS is here, the fire the, the EMS services was here and everything. And there's a uh, there's some kind of live video feed going on here too, so apparently this is yes. You can call it back all you want, but apparently if somebody's either doing this or we're not really not hundred percent certain certain why it's happening. It's not it, it's not has nothing to do with that. This is something something else. We don't know they don't even know what it is, but I'm just I'm gonna take a picture of the sign and I'll send it to you. The sign says you can print. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, I'm trying to get the... Yeah. Here, I have to call you right back so I can uh, take a picture of it. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's calling it. Okay. Uh,
Company's gravity uh, is the inventor of the second green man jet that he wears on his arm and his back. It's top, it's incredibly noisy, it's long, it's long, it's long, it's long, it's long, it's long, Hey, Shara County, this is Shara County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use. If you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks. <laughs> 